So there was a question um, that was posed in the following fashion. So the way I'm setting up the, the arguments, which we have not reached the conclusion of, by the way, uh, the way I'm setting up these arguments is by saying that, okay, we have this original reference configuration, and we know that relative to our to the walls of the room, we're going to apply a deformation that is this, right? So maybe relative to this basis, we know we're going to stretch it along, um, along this axis, which in this configuration is along the long axis of this ellipsoid, okay? Then if I want to come along and say that, well, I want to rotate the reference configuration to a new reference configuration, but still apply that motion, right? So the question that, that was asked was, well, what if I, what if I um, keep track of this uh, rotation I'm applying on the reference configuration, and then before applying deformation in this direction along the walls of the room, I re-rotate things to, uh, re-rotate the reference configuration to be aligned, then am I, will things not be, uh, be well-defined? Yes, of course, they will be well-defined. Um, but that actually sort of says, well, what if we don't do any of the arguments you're about to do? <laughs> right? What if we don't do these arguments? Won't things be fine? Yes, of course, they would be fine. Okay? So in particular, the question was that, that was asked so would, would, be, would be relevant in the context of doing an experiment. Right? In an experiment, you know that your, your, you know, whatever machine that you're going to stretch the material in or deform it in is already um, has a fixed orientation, right? It is set up to stretch things along a certain direction relative to the walls of the room because that's how you set up the, the experimental equipment. Okay, so yes, of course, as long as your material is always presented with its microstructure aligned in, 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 in a suitable direction to that equipment, things will always be the same. The question we are trying to ask is what if you don't know? Okay, what if you don't know how the microstructure is aligned? If the microstructure were aligned this way or that way or that way, you know, for arbitrary rotations of the microstructure, what can you say about the strain energy functions? Okay, that is the question we are trying to ask. Okay, so what can you say about the strain energy function, uh, strain energy density function for arbitrary rotations? Okay, right, what are, are there statements we can make about it? And you will see, consequently, what can we say for materials for which it does matter how the material is oriented, right? How the microstructure is oriented. We want to get at both of them, okay? And, that's, and, and obviously, to get at that question, we do need to consider the, the, the application of arbitrary rotations to the material microstructure, okay? Because finally, we want to get a statement on psi. We want to, we want to shed more light on psi for these, for these questions of material symmetry. Okay? Okay, so we'll proceed with, with the development.